the horizontal platform which is provided between two successive flights in a staircase is known as landing flight is the continuous series of steps without any break between landings or between landing and flooring in ancient times people used to construct only single story houses and shelters later on they realized that the space above the ground level could be utilized to increase the amount of space a structure could offer which led to the thought of constructing multi-storied houses although it was difficult to access the upper floors which gave rise to the invention of stairs this enabled the users of these buildings to access the upper levels with the addition of multiple floors in today's world stairs can be made even more accessible to people with all levels of physical ability through the installation of stair lifts and ramps in this lecture i am going to discuss some important details regarding staircases in which i will discuss what should be the standard size of a staircase the maximum and minimum standard sizes of risers and treads the maximum and minimum size of flight width and landing i am also going to discuss how to calculate the number of risers and what should be the minimum spacing between two flights in a staircase before proceeding further let me introduce you to the main components of a staircase the top horizontal surface of a step over which foot is placed while ascending or descending a stairway is known as tread the vertical member of a step is known as riser it provides support and connection between successive treads the vertical height between two consecutive treads is known as rise the horizontal platform which is provided between two successive flights in a staircase is known as landing flight is the continuous series of steps without any break between landings or between landing and flooring the thickness of the slab which is provided to support the steps is known as waist slab now let's discuss the standard sizes of staircases in case of residential buildings the size of riser should be taken from 6 inches to 7.5 inches or 150 mm to 190 mm the size of tread should be taken as 10 inches or 250 mm the width of flight is taken from 3 feet to 3.6 feet or 0.9 meter to 1.1 meter the standard sizes of staircases for commercial buildings are size of riser should be taken from 5 inches to 6 inches or 120 mm to 150 mm the size of tread should be taken as 1 feet and the width of flight should be taken from 5 feet to 6 feet or 1.5 meter to 1.8 meter it should be noted that the minimum width of landing should be kept greater or equal to the width of flight now let's discuss how to calculate the total number of risers required for a staircase suppose we have the given height equal to 2.4 meter in which we need to calculate the total number of risers required for completing a flight and let's take the size of each riser equal to 150 mm total number of risers required will be equal to height of floor upon size of one riser so on substituting these values the total number of risers required will be equal to 16 which means we need 16 number of risers for completing the 2.4 meter floor height it must be noted that the first flight should be kept at a height of 7 feet or more from the ground floor so that the space beneath it could be utilized for other purposes the space between two flights must be kept between 4.5 inches to 6 inches or 114 mm to 150 mm so this was all about this lecture if you like my content please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future thank you